Hi, for those who don't know me, my name's Brenna, and I make travel videos with my twin sister, Kara. So strap in for double trouble as together we explore the beautiful island, Bali. All right, guys, so we've got a guest appearance for the next couple of days. Let me introduce you. This is Cody. She's Canadian, but we'll forgive her for that. Oh, thank you. You guys are so sweet. And she was our sister from another mister up in Cairns. Oh now we're gonna spend the day exploring and Let's see what see. we get to do. Here, we decided to not go into the monkey forest. Although the monkey forest is definitely one of the most popular destinations, in my opinion, I've heard the monkeys can be quite violent and grabby, not to mention potential rabies and just lost or stolen phones. So at the end, I decided that for me, seeing them from afar was plenty. Mango lassi, I got the mango blah And uh, there's, then there's Brenna here with, uh, uh, what you got there, Brenna? We got everything we need right here. Wine and burning chemistry. You so today we're trying out the pool time. What is that? Carrot. What is it? <gasps> <gasps> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> so these are the ones that they they eat and then they what they poop out, you can make coffee from. Yeah. Luwak coffee is actually the world's most expensive coffee and it originates here in Indonesia. How expensive is this coffee? For a pound, you could be paying anywhere from 100 to 800 dollars. <laughs> All right, so we've been walking around for 30 minutes and we've come across a luwak. And luwak coffee, basically, it's a, an animal in the mongoose family. They eat the coffee and then when they poop it out, you get this, which is like their dried poop and it becomes coffee beans and you can actually make apparently really delicious coffee. So we've ordered one to try. Almost all luwak population in the world is found only in Indonesia and the Philippines. You're making luwak. This is a baby luwak. In some restaurants, you can also pay up to 70 US dollars for one cup. Oh, that's mine! <laughs> Luckily, since this coffee is made here in Indonesia, we only paid five dollars for the cup you see us sharing. So, oh my god, this is Yeah. It is really good. Oh, it's so smooth. So this is normal coffee, mm -hmm. just 100% Arabica. Here we have the Luwak coffee. Smell the difference? It almost smells like there's sugar already in that or yeah. something. It's like yeah. a natural Aromas. sweetness. This was definitely an amazing thing to stumble upon and I'm really glad that we were able to try such a local and famous delicacy. All right, so we just went hiking for about 30 minutes. I uh, saw some luwaks and tried some luwak coffee and then we finally get to this. So this is snakeskin fruit. I got three of them for 10,000 rupiah, which is about a dollar. So we're gonna try them and I will let you know how they taste. Mm. Ah! So snakeskin fruit. Ooh, smells like garlic. 
Yeah, it looks like a giant clove of garlic. Oh. Mm, it's really sweet, like pineapple. What do you think? Oh, but it has. Yeah. And you can see it also has. I like it. A seed on the inside. inside. But it tastes like um, a less acidic pineapple. It's really good. Our last stop of the day was to the Purataman Saraswati Temple, otherwise known as the Water Palace, famous for its pond of lotus flowers. Stir fried chicken mixed with fresh onion and chili, bregago kentang. This is Indonesian style potato, say croquet. Soybean sprout green vegetables, for coffee, grated coconut dressed with Balinese spices. We ended the day with some fried bananas. Now it's time to rest because tomorrow we're gonna go on an entire day trip around the whole island of Bali. Can't wait, see you then.